All right, guys, let's see how we can solve another question from this second chapter of the Miriam textbook and dream mechanics. And in this one, we have a pry bar that is used to remove a nail. As we can see, we need to determine the moment of the 60 pound force about the point O based on the assumption that positive is positive for counterclockwise moment and negative for clockwise. As we discussed in the channel, we always do this. Positive is counterclockwise moment and negative is clockwise moment so the point o as we can see you can say black dot on the figure all right so if we want to solve this if we can just resolve the force 60 pounds into one perpendicular to this pry bar and one parallel to it so these two we should be able to find the moment pretty easy so if we draw one line parallel to our horizontal this angle here is 15 degrees and since we have this one 65 degrees, this one in here would be 65. So this little angle here has to be 90. So if we want to find this little angle, we're going to have 90 minus 65 minus 15 degrees, which is going to be basically 90 minus 80 or 10 degrees. So now it's pretty easy because we have these two components and if we want to find the moment about point o counterclockwise positive we have the moment of the perpendicular component i'm gonna show it in green so this is going to be in this direction clockwise moment so negative and that component would be cosine of 10 so f which is 60 pounds cosine of 10 degrees so that would be the x component and the y component would uh, and that would be the force and this is our position vector which will going to be 14 inches and the other one i'm going to show that one maybe in red so this one that one's as we can see will be a little bit we have a little distance which is 1.2 inches that's going to make this one also clockwise so another negative sign the force this time will be 60 sine of 10 degrees and the distance would be this 1.2 inches that we have so let's just calculate this and that would be the fastest way to find the moment so 60 times 14 times cosine of 10 plus 60 times 1.2 times sine of 10 and this is going to give us 839.7 pounds inch and we have a negative sign in here because we have both of them negative and the negative sign shows that the moment is so yeah that would be the final answer for this question hope everything was clear let me know if you guys have any questions and you guys take care i'll see you in the next video have a good one